universal health care. <laughs> this is uh, this is a big issue. There's a lot of there's a lot of things in play uh, that we haven't talked about about that issue. Um, if you look at the rise of health care costs, you can you can lay that firmly at the foot of government intervention in the 1980s and beyond. Uh, since government has gotten involved in health care and in college tuitions and things like that, the cost of those things have exploded. So libertarians like myself, people who believe in the free market, think that the, the only true way to bring down lasting uh, efficiencies and cutting of cost and things is through competition. And so government involvement precludes competition. You remove competition. You're guaranteeing payment for things. And you're also forcing people into one size fits all solutions, which don't work. So. If you look at so-called affordable health care, uh, it, it hasn't happened in this country under the Obamacare Act. So since Obamacare was implemented, almost everyone I've talked to, their premiums have doubled, even tripled. Uh, their deductibles have gone up. Uh, you know, it, it hasn't worked at any level. You're forcing young people who don't really want insurance and can't afford insurance to pay for something that they don't want. And it's, it's quite expensive. You've, you've started fining people for not buying a product that they don't want. What if the government decided, well, we all need new cars to stimulate the economy, and they started fining people for not buying new cars? Would that make any sense at all? No, it doesn't. And so, so the way that universal health care or the way that, that if the Affordable Care Act ha, ha, the Affordable Care Act has been implemented, it's nothing but a Ponzi scheme. You're funding it. At the, with young people who, who will then eventually later in life need health care, who will then be uh, receiving funding from the next generation of young people. So it's nothing but a Ponzi scheme. I think you also have to look at the fact that in Europe, um, and, and I haven't done a great deal of research on this. I've read you know, things about it, but, but I haven't really done any in-depth research. And, and this is something that we should explore, is how much of the national budget is healthcare consuming? Is that percentage of the bu budget increasing? Everything I've read suggests that it is. And so, you know, if you take the UK, England, um, you know, I've, I've seen numerous politicians bringing up the fact that their healthcare system is bankrupting their country. So when you say every civilized country on the, on the planet has universal healthcare, yeah, but at what cost? Is it sustainable? Is it working? And so I think that you could make the argument that it isn't sustainable and isn't the desirable solution. As a libertarian, what I want to see is more competition. That starts at the college level when you're educating doctors, nurses, and other healthcare. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm at a loss for words here. I didn't get enough certifications. There we go. Other healthcare professionals. And so you can also look at government now issues permits for building hospitals. You're not allowed to build a hospital. Why not? That's competition. That would bring down cost if you had more hospitals. That would bring down competition. So government has inserted itself into every aspect of the healthcare uh, system, into many other aspects of our lives, and it has been very detrimental at every level. And those are some of the things that you don't hear conversations about. Why not? Why don't we allow more doctors to be trained? Why don't we allow more nurses to be trained, other healthcare professionals? And then let's see if the free market works or not. Why not allow competing systems instead of forcing everybody into one big government universal system?